Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderbiss Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderbiss Fishing Tips. What a phenomenal day we have out here. It's beautiful out here, absolutely gorgeous. I've got Phil with us today. It looks like he's on the I fish already. Good, yeah. <laughs> We've got the boatless angler with us. And Vincenzo made the trip from British Columbia. He's all the way down here doing the, spending a day on the water. And we're running some sting nose today. You've got, there's a nice sting nose uh, sea bass right there. That's a good one. Not too bad. A sting nose and the teaser tee combo. And uh, I get asked a lot. I like to run the teaser tee combo anytime I'm fishing salt water. And I get asked a lot about jigging spoons and what poundage, what size weight should I use. Well, right now we're running the ounce and three quarter jigging spoon, uh, the sting nose. And that's because it's calm. We've got a slow drift going and uh, we're only fishing in 25 feet of water. So you don't really need a heavy, heavy jigging spoon under those conditions. Now, if we were drifting much quicker or I was fishing deeper, then I would put the, uh, the two and three quarter ounce sting nose on. But for now, the ounce and three quarter is perfect. And it's a good size for these uh, sea bass. And we're also catching porgies out here as well. So we're having ourselves a great day. Stay tuned, folks. So glad you could join us. Yep, he's singing oh. off. Okay, Antonio got mad, so we got another one back, eh? Wow, they ate it on the way down. What a day out here. Oh, wow, <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. We see that. Oh, that's a good one. Forget the net. <laughs> oh, you got the flexi jig on. Yep. I like to use something different. Okay. <laughs> when the weather's good and the fishing's good, I don't think it gets much better than that. Okay, we are in 25 feet right now, and we're just drifting. We just got a little drift going. There's a slight breeze. The tide's moving us a bit. I'm just checking the graph out here. I'm seeing some fish on there. Oh! <laughs> he didn't even bite. <laughs> <laughs> he was just, he was there, was he? Yeah. Oh. Look at this is it a scup? Uh, I don't know. There, yeah, it's a scup. Yeah? Yeah. Scup's got a scup. I got a scup as you well. You got a scup as well? Looks like we're into the scup here right now. Well, they'll take the sting nose too. Wow, that's a nice scup. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. one. Yeah. Flexi jig scup. You got one too? Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one as well. <laughs> Those are nice sized scups. Ron Antonio? Yeah. I heard a hook set. Oh, me too. I heard a second hook set. <laughs> <laughs> small? Small. Actually, yeah, it's not no, that small. Bad. Oh, I just missed one. Oh, just lost him. You lost him? Yeah. He wasn't that small. No, he wasn't. Oh, I just missed one too. Give him a second to hit. There we go. That one came back after it. He missed it the first time. You got one? Yeah. <laughs> what happens is a lot of times if they miss the first time, They'll come right back at it and hit it again. That's a decent fish. This one doesn't want to come in. Get a good one, eh? Yeah, it's a good one. Not bad. Hey, okay. nice size sea bass. Actually, that's a pretty good one. Just one treble in them. Everybody's out today. Boats everywhere today, and why not? The weather is just fantastic. Let's see if I can get this guy off the hook. Here. Oh, I got pliers right here. Thanks, Vincenzo. It's just one single treble, but it doesn't want to come out. There we go. Decent fish. All right, back down we go. Just jigging the, dropping it right down to the bottom. As soon as you hit bottom, just take up the slack about six inches and just jig it right off the bottom. And the teaser tee is sitting about two feet above the jigging spoon. And what'll happen is if there's any suspended fish, oh, I just missed them. If there's any suspended fish, they'll go after the teaser. Oh, he came back. <laughs> so you got the chance to catch the bottom fish with the sting nose. And then with a teaser T, you've got the chance to catch any suspended fish. Okay, you got a good one? Not bad. Not bad, me too. 
about the same size school, I guess. Whoa! <laughs> this guy's gone. <laughs> when you bring them in quick, they're still full of energy. Okay, let's get this guy off. Oh, there's a good bite. Good bite? Yeah. There we go. Back in he goes. Wow, wow this, this guy's strong. He got a good one? Yeah. He got a good one. Oh boy, good weather, good fishing. Here, I'll net it. Oh, there's another one just on the drop, too. Oh, <laughs> it's like a good one, too. You got a good one? Yeah. Oh, my. I think I got a good one, too. What a solid, solid hit. <laughs> I just dropped a sting nose down. The sting nose are very, very realistic looking. That's the thing with them. And this one came on the teaser. That's what I mean about the teaser. That's a teaser tea fish. Right there. Yeah, that's what it's all about right there. There's a nice teaser tea fish. And this thing though has just caught a big one. <laughs> Let's see if I can. There we go. Okay. There we go. There's a nice, that's a nice solid uh, sea bass right there. And these teaser teas, what I love about them is they're built right in. So what you have is basically you've got no line twists, no tangles. And you also have a nice horizontal presentation. So it comes through the water very, very nicely. Nice natural look to it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's another good hook. This is just unbelievable fishing. Yeah, that sting nose looks so realistic and it's the shape, the shape of the sting nose. There's so many sizes from 1 16th right up to two and three quarter ounce. Those are all custom Thundermist Lure Company shapes. The, all the tooling is made specifically for us. It's our own design. And there's another, there's another teaser tea fish right there. And it looks like you see what happened there. When my uh, when my sting nose hit the bottom, it actually picked up some weed. And if this fish will stop moving, I could show you. Got one? Hang around with this guy for a while. See there? So you're not going to get anything if you got any debris at all on your lure. You're not going to get anything. There's another big fish on the teaser. That's a nice size, oh, chunky sea bass. Hey, just on that little teaser, it's amazing. You can catch some big fish on that teaser tee. That's a nice, a nice sea bass right there. All right. So now, before this goes down, it's got to get clean. Clean it right up. Have it as natural looking as possible at all times. All right, back down we go. Okay, and then get it off the bottom and let's jig it off the bottom. And you know, for those of you who have been watching, you know what I love to use with a jig and spoon. It's a jig and pause technique. Works best. Nice. Okay. Yeah. See bass? Yep. A little guy. Small one? Yeah. Well, we're getting a variety, just a variety of fish out here today. And I think we're going to stay the whole day out here today, and why not? The weather is just phenomenal. The wind is just calm and beautiful. And the fish are cooperating. We're getting some, we're getting some good fish and a lot of good bites. Oh, that was better. <laughs> Back at it. <laughs> These fish are really aggressive. Oh, I just lost them. Oh, I'm you, on. You're on? These fish are just so aggressive today. It is unbelievable. Oh, it's a sea robin. You got a robin. We're getting a variety of fish today, folks. Those you got to be very, very careful. That might have been what I had on. It could be why I lost them. Got to be very careful how you handle those sea robins. That's something over here. Yeah? Sea robin? No, it feels a lot heavier than the sea robin. It is, it's a big sea robin. <laughs> Show that sea robin to the... Yeah, that's a nice sea robin. That's a good one. Look at that sea robin. Very prehistoric and they got lots of spikes all over their head here. On the head and on the side. So the best way to handle them is actually from underneath. There's no, no spikes there on the underside. 
and away he goes. <laughs> you got, did you get a snail? Yeah, some sort of shell. <laughs> That's when you know you're on the bottom. Oh, you know, what I get asked a lot too with these teaser tees, how far above my sting nose should I work it? Well, run it two feet, two to three feet at the max, and that'll give you a real good spread between bottom fish and suspended fish. And it's also easy to control. I'm running two feet right now, but actually if, if you do even three feet, what you could do too is if you have to retie, you've got more room to retie because you're gonna you're gonna keep consuming more line as you keep retying. So two to three feet is a great distance to uh, to go between the teaser and then your your spoon. Oh, you're on Antonio? Yeah. I can't see it back there, but <laughs> And I got, see, I got the bottom, I got a zebra mussel or something. Put it back down again. Got some weight to him? Yeah, I think it's going to be a nice one. Oh, Can't yeah. see him yet. Big sea bass. Oh, yeah? Nice. Oh, you need the net? I'm going to lift him. Bassmaster style? Yep. There you go. That's a beautiful fish. You know what? They're all good fish. What a day we're having out here today, folks. Oh, just when I picked up a, an apple. Oh, there's another one. I got one too, Evil. Can't even stop to take a bite to eat. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> oh, you got a good oh. one. Yep. These are tea fish. These are tea. Nice. Bonus fish. And I got a sting nose fish. Oh! <laughs> I'd like to eat my apple. I guess you gotta put the rod down. If you don't put the rod down, you're never gonna eat. Okay. Oh, hook set? Hook set. Okay. You got him? You're eating, you're eating, you're eating my apple. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's classic. That is classic. Oh, there's a, oh, I just missed them. There's one, Evil. Good, hook set. Where else can you have this much fun? Staying down there. Oh, I got one too. Solid, solid hit. That's a nice one. Just look, another one's following you. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Maybe it'll take your teaser. You. He might hit the teaser. Yeah. Oh, oh you got a big one. Hey, you got a big. You got a big sea bass. Yeah. Oh, I got a beauty too. I got a real nice one. Nice sea bass. Look at the blue color on on that fish. Oh, this is just. <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable fishing. You too, Vincenzo. Oh, yeah. You're on. Feels pretty good. Yeah? Oh this, yeah, it's a nice one. This is a good one too. Big, chunky sea bass. Yeah. You know what, folks? If you haven't given saltwater fishing a try, you really got to do it. It is so much fun. We're having a great day out here. I want to thank you ever so much for tuning in to Thunderous Fishing Tips. It's always great to see you. And until next time, good luck and good fishing.